Hey, what's up everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com and I'm just going to do a simple beat making video to hopefully answer some questions about the new Machina 2.0 software and Machina Studio. So let's get right into it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a, uh, a bank of drums and the way I'm going to do that is first I'll use software and then I'll use the hardware to show you. The browser is now separated. There is a native instruments tab and a user tab. The difference between the two is that the Native Instruments tab is everything that Native Instruments does, and the User tab is pretty much everything else. Anything that you've done or a third party has done is going to be uh, falling under this tab here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll use a pack of drums from the Stim Pack, and when I load that up, you'll notice how fast it loads now. Machina 2.0 seems to load much faster than Machina 1 did. All right, so we've got our drums here, and uh, just uh, to show you how everything looks, in the mixer mode here, you can see your sampler, and then next to it is going to be any effects that you add in there. So here you can see there's an EQ on this drum, and if you were to add more, you could scroll left and right to add more, um, to add more sounds in there as well. So... Let's go ahead and just lay a quick pattern down. You can go into the arranger and you can see it both on the hardware and on the software. Oh, excuse me. Let me get out of my... Um, I need to be in the, in the pattern here. You can go... When you're in arrange mode, you can see your scenes and select your scenes from the pad or select your patterns from the pad. And when you're in the pattern, you can play your drums out. So... Let's turn Quantize on, and what I'll also do is I'm going to slow the tempo. The way I do that is hold, hold tap down and scroll the jog wheel, and I'm going to take it to 91, turn my metronome on. The metronome now also has uh, new features in it. When you hit Shift and Grid, you go into your record mode. This is where you turn Quantize on and off. Um, you set your count-in measures, so you can go up to four bars for count-in. And you can also set the timing of your metronome. So if you want like a, uh, a 16th metronome instead of an 8th note, you can do that, which is nice. So, oh, did I set that? Yeah, let me go to. Uh, with the... With the studio controller, you have a little master knob off to the side here, and when you uh, select, you have master, group, sound, and cue. And when you select one of those and move the, the master knob, it will affect the sound level of that particular item. So if I go into the mixer here, and I go to my group level, you'll see that the F work kit is in yellow. When I select group, I can move it up and down, and you should be able to see this guy right here moving up and down, and that will affect my level. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm actually going to back out to the master level. I'm going to throw um, a compressor on here real quick. And I'm only doing this really just for this video, just to make things a little bit easier for myself. Um, okay. So... Now what we're going to do is we're just going to add some more groups. I'm going to add a whole bunch of groups so that you can see what happens when we run past eight groups. So let's add... Let's go ahead and add some sounds. I'm going to use Machine Instrument Volume 1, which is an expansion that I recently put out on BigFish.com, BigFishAudio.com, so go check that out. And let's do a bass sound, something big. Something big and dirty. Do something evolving. We do something legato. Um, so let's just lay a pattern down right quick. And I'm going to 
a chord pattern, I'm going to double it to a four bar pattern. Now another interesting thing is, is that the undo function acts like a regular undo function that you would expect now. Unlike on Machina 1.0, you oftentimes would use compare and then hit clear and do different things like that. Now we can just hit undo and we can completely undo. So it's, it's much easier to do your undos now. So... add some more percussion in here we'll use something uh, we'll go into the native instruments side here and when we click on the all instruments we get a browser filled with all these beautiful pictures on here and you can scroll through them using the knobs or the left and right arrows as well or even the um, jog wheel I can go straight to drums and percussion which is what I'm looking for there we are. And then I can go by product. So let's say I want damage. I can hop through here. And let's see. I think what I want is... Along with this, um, I have this bass here. Let's say I want to go ahead and throw a compressor on it. I'm going to use the compressor from Native Instruments. I'm going to go to the sidechain input, take my kick, and sidechain right off of that kick. <laughs> So let's add another group in here just to keep it moving. Now this time what I think I want to do is I'm just going to add a pad. So I can just kind of look through here and decide what I want to do. I'm going to use a soundscape. And... effect to that as well so first thing you want to do when adding your effects uh, is make sure you go to an empty slot so I'm on an empty slot now and I think what I want to do is a creative effect and I'll use something like uh, FM8 and I'll use uh, the emotions please or something like that and let's hear how it sounds with that <laughs> Now let's add another group in, and this time we'll do different type of instrument. Let's just throw... I'm just wasting groups at this point. I'm just trying to show you what happens here, so... Another interesting feature is I'm going to go to a second pattern on this one and I will show you how note repeat works now. Now note repeat is a little bit different than it used to be. So we still have the four slots with the different note repeat sections on it, but the selection of those is over here on the left screen and there's type. 
and gate. And what that means is that you can have the note repeat hold for a long note, a really long note by going to 200%, or a really short note by going to shorter percentages. The type is you can go to um, normal, triplet, or dotted, so you can get different uh, note repeat rhythms. And note repeat does follow your swing. So we have that. Now to get to the swing, we press the channel button. I'm going to go over to groove, and I'm going to turn my swing up. I'm going to change the cycle to 3 16 Okay. And in fact, I'm going to change the swing of my drum group a little bit as well to kind of play with that a little bit. All right, let's add, um, on this one I'm just going to add a sample, so I'm just going to go right into here, select my kicks, and I'm going to go to a sub, and... can do now is I just wanted to add this kick in here for no reason at all really and I'm going to add a different synth on the next group and this will do something like um, we'll see how this sounds actually <laughs> So now we have all these groups filled up. To add another group, I just hit the shift button on the controller and I select B. And now I am in group bank B and I can keep on adding more groups. So here I'm just going to um, add some bowed strings. And the, like I said, the, the loading is just so much faster now. Okay, so that's how you add in extra groups. Now, people were asking me about scenes and saying that, oh, there's only 64 scenes. That's not true. There is unlimited scenes, and I'll show you that right now. So I'm holding scene, duplicate, and I'm just going to drag my finger across the pads and duplicate scenes. And as you can see, I can go on forever doing this, and it doesn't matter. So right now I'm up to 144 scenes, no problem there. And you can see on the arranger on the controller, I can, you know, I can just kind of zoom out, zoom in. I can go to my scenes here. If I want to zoom in on this, let me go back to A actually, uh, so that you can see these. When I zoom in, you can see them all. When I zoom out, you'll see how many there are. I mean, you can barely even see them. There's so many on there. Uh, and it's the same with patterns. Patterns, you can do the exact same thing. It's unlimited. So I hope that answered some questions. And if you have any questions, certainly hit me up over at fluxwithit.com. 
please check out the Machine Instrument Volume 1, uh, Machina and Machina 2.0 expansion. It's over 6 gigs of new multi-sampled instruments just for a machine using Machine's effects. It loads extremely quickly in Machine 2.0, and it also uh, really takes advantage of all the routing and modulation possibilities that are available inside of this powerhouse. So certainly check that out over at BigFishAudio.com and through FluxWithIt.com. If you have any questions, hit me up. Peace.